Hi, I'm Matt from Haltech, and today on Technically Speaking, we're going to be combining old school muscle with new school technology. Using our Tirana A9X 1977 model, this car is running a uh, LS1 V8 engine and a Haltech Platinum Sport 2000 with a race pack dash. And today what we're going to be doing is going through how to set up the race pack dash to display all the data that you may need to see in a standalone dash application. Now in this car, we have the Haltech race pack dash already installed. And what we're gonna go through is how to set up this display. So for example, at the moment, we're showing air temperature, water temperature, throttle position. And what we're going to look at today is how to set up the race pack dash to display all the data that you might want to see. Now, what a lot of people don't know is the race pack Haltech dash actually has four display screens that you can scroll through using the provided Haltech buttons. So what we're going to go through is how to set up each of those individual screens and then how to scroll through from screen to screen to screen. Now setting up and plugging in your race pack dash is very simple. Simply at the back of the dash here you'll notice that there is a large round connector, a square connector and then also a small stereo jack connector. To connect your race pack dash up to a Haltech, a round connector, a round hole, the can connector goes into the back of your Haltech ECU. So now the dash is wired into the Haltech and ready to go. At this point, what we want to do is we want to actually program what we see on the display dash. And the way to do that is to actually connect up the stereo connector into the race pack dash into your laptop. What you want to do is actually load the configuration file from the dash onto your laptop so you can modify it. Easiest way to do this for a first time application is go to File, New Car Configuration, select IQ3 and I just load the IQ3 config. Click OK. Now you want to give this a new name. In this case I'm going to call it A9X because that's the vehicle that I'm using. Click Next and OK. And at this point you need to select serial number 258. Click OK and what this has done is just loaded a generic default configuration file. What I want to do is actually get the configuration file out of the dash that I'm using and to do that I go to Edit, Read VNet Config. This is going to read the configuration out of the dash, then I'm going to modify that to give me the display that I actually want to see. And once the software is finished reading the configuration file out of the dash, it will say device is read successfully. Click OK and we'll notice in the top right hand corner we have a whole host of additional channels. These are all the EFI channels that the Haltech sends to the race pack dash. Now to modify what we see, in the top left you see it says IQ3 logger. If you have a display dash it will say IQ3 display. Right click on this and you will see four different dash screens. What this allows you to do is set up four different displays that the dash will display. To get from one display to the next display, what we'll do is we'll use the buttons provided when you bought your race pack dash. To modify what's on each of these displays, it's very simple. Simply click on the segment you wish to, wish to modify and change the channel if that's what you desire to do or change the calibration or whatever it is you desire doing. You'll notice in this case that a number of my boxes in the display are disabled. If all of the boxes are disabled for one screen, that screen will not show up in the scrolling menu when you use the buttons. To change the warnings that you get on your dash, click on the warnings tab. What that allows you to do is program the four programmable warning lights. Quite simply click on the warning, select the channel which you would like to have your warning on and 
set the tag, that is the error message that's going to be displayed when that warning comes on and when to turn your warning on or off. The same can be said for the shift lights. Simply program when the shift lights come on. Gear calculation, slip calculation, these things are used in the logger dash where you have a GPS input. If you have a display dash, you don't have these options. Once you've made any changes that you wish to make, to actually make the changes to the dash, what you need to do is send the configuration back to the dash. So press send configuration, and now this new information will be loaded into the dash. Now once you've set up your new dash display configuration, what you want to do is actually check that it works. Now the way to actually scroll through the different pages that you have set up in the dash is using the six wire connection that is provided. Simply wire in the buttons as per the wiring diagram. Here's one I've prepared earlier. Once the buttons are wired in, all you do is simply press the button. At each button press, you'll scroll through a new page, one of the new pages that you've set up. And you're done. Well, this has been just a very broad overview of what you can do with a race pack Howtech Dash. In future series of Technically Speaking, we'll cover more of this, but for now, that's all we have time for.